Awesome iPad delivers easy to configure 3D models of the iPad Pro to use as a special effect or even to demo an iOS app. Awesome iPad was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects browser under Awesome iPad. For our example, I have a sequence on my timeline that I'll make into a compound clip, then apply the iPad effect. Immediately, we'll see the footage composited on a 3D model of an iPad, along with some on-screen controls. On playback, we see the default effect, a two-second move of the iPad gliding from screen center to the right with a slight turn. Instead of keyframing anything, the animation will run between the two states, which we designate by the Move dropdown. By default, our move goes from the A bank of parameters of scale, position, depth, and rotation, which have no adjustments, to the B settings, just to the right, with a turn on the Y axis. In the parameters, I can choose between different iPad models or work with the draft model, which can be customized by changing the draft mode colors at the bottom of the parameters. Additionally, we can uncheck high detail for a performance boost or to get a less glossy feel. Since my footage is landscape, I'll uncheck vertical source, then adjust the iPad to be landscape by setting 90 degrees for the A and B Z axis rotation states. We have many different options in the move dropdown, including going to and from full screen, plus a handy help menu. By changing move to B to A, on replay, we now see that the animation runs backwards between the two states, but the linear takeoff and expo landing are still applied at the start and the end of the move. The easing options, along with adjusting the overall duration, give great control over the feel of your animation. There are many parameters that let us tailor the look to our liking, including settings to customize the back of the tablet. You can even add the Apple Pencil. Different simple shadows allow us to quickly create a sense of integration for commonly used angles. On this clip, we have an above desk view using the top shadow setting. And here we'll use the portrait soft shadow. If I blade a cut during my clip, the effect restarts at the new edit. On the second clip, if I change move to B to A, and because my B parameters are identical on both clips, on replay, we see the iPad move A to B then seamlessly return back to A. By changing the A positions on each clip, but keeping my B states the same, I can make in then out animations, or repeat the process to build more complex multi-stage moves. Awesome iPad is a great effect for your video toolbox and a must have if you're an iOS developer that would like to demo your app. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.